Hello everybody, it's Jen. I have a fun card to share with you today for Not Too Shabby Shop. Don't forget to use coupon code GEN10 to save 10% off your total purchase. So this is the scene card I'm making today featuring the new stamp set called Keep On Swimming by Lawn Fawn, which is absolutely adorable. I love this little kitty image with the back of him. I'm also going to bring in some stamps from the Lawn Fawn Meow You Doing to create this scene. So I'm getting started here just by stamping out all of my images. I'm using Lawn Fawn Jet Black Ink, with his, which is an alcohol marker friendly ink. So I'm using my Misty to stamp these out because there's multiple images. I figured I probably needed to stamp them out twice. I'm going to clean those off quickly with my stamp chamois and then I'm going to add some additional elements here to the little fish bowl. So I'm going to add the water line to the fish bowl. I don't get it exactly lined up but pretty close but I think that's okay and then I'm going to add this adorable little fish inside the fish bowl as well. So now we can move on to the coloring. For the water, I'm going to use my BG markers. So for the darkest shadows, I'm using BG18 and I'm just going to put that very sparingly under the little fish, under the water line, and then to the top portion of each side of the fishbowl. I'm going to come in with my BG13 and pull that color out a little bit more and then switching to the BG11 Again, just pulling that color out more and more with each different marker that I use. I'm just going to leave a very little area here for the BG10. I'm going to blend that out and that will frame our little fish here quite nicely. For the cat bed, I decided to do some of the B markers. So I'm using a three color blend here with the B02 as my darkest the B00 as my midtone, and the B000. Originally thought I was going to color the inside of the cat bed a different color, but changed my mind and ended up coming in and coloring the entire cat bed here the same color. And really, in the end, this inside gets covered up, I would say, probably 99% once I get the cat positioned into the little bed having her nap. I want to carry some of the colors through, so I'm going to add that blue to the label on our fish food, and then I'm going to go ahead and color up our little fish here yellow. I'm inspired to pick my colors by the pattern paper that I'm using for this card. So I'm doing a four color blend. I have the markers there to the left hand side. Really easy to color up that little fish, and I think the four colors just gives it some added dimension within that large fishbowl. For our little table here, I'm going to use a softer brown color family. Well, it's not really family. Um, number of markers here. So my darkest is going to be the E57, my darkest midtone the E35, and then my lightest midtone the E34. And my highlight color is going to be the E31. I'm also going to use some of these markers here to color one of the kitties, just so I didn't have to pull out any more markers. Just going ahead and adding where I want the shading to be with my lightest. And now I'm coming in with the darkest, which is the E57. I'm not worried about coloring the entire kitty because you're not going to be able to see the bottom part of him, so you'll see how I add him to the scene here in a little bit. Just going through the markers, pulling out that color and blending all of that in, and we have ourselves a brown little kitty. I'm not doing much detailing on the cats because I think the scene just kind of speaks for itself. I'm bringing in a little bit of pink because there is pink in the paper, so I wanted this little mouse to look like a cat toy as opposed to a real mouse, and I'm going to go ahead and add that pink to the fish food bottle as well, and then do the little noses on the cats. 
I'm going to do a warm gray color for this little sleeping kitty. So I'm using warm gray 5, which is the W5, the W3, the W1, and the W00. I am going to go over this image twice. Uh, I am going to color the little kitty with his back to us. I want him to look more white, but I'm going to use the same colors except leave out the W5. But once I get that little kitty colored up, I realize that I want this kitty at the top here just a little bit darker. So I'm going to move on to our white kitty here, and I'm just using W3 as my darkest and really just laying that down very sparingly using the tip of my marker, blending that out with the W1, and then I will come in with the W00. So you can see here that this kitty is too close in color, in my opinion, to the cat that I actually want to look gray. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pull out the colors a lot more for this one at the top left. And I just came in with my W3. I'm not adding any more W5, then the W1, then the W00. For my label on, or for the top of the fish food and the little fish bowl, I want them to look clear or white. So I'm just going to use the C3C1 and blend that out with my C00 or the colorless blender. It went a little too quickly. I'm going to use the R20 for the cheeks, and here's the pattern paper that inspired the colors for my scene here. I'm using the Spring Fling paper pad to look like wallpaper, and I saw one of the L'Enfant Design team members do a card where they used the flower pattern paper as wallpaper, and I absolutely loved it and inspired the card background for today's project. I just grabbed a piece of wood grain paper that I had in my stash. It was already cut to this length, but I wanted to use it up. I was hoping that this stitched rectangle die would go to both ends, but you're going to see here that it actually um, is shorter on the right hand side, so I need to fix that up. To do that, I'm just going to go ahead and use my trimmer here and cut down that side. When I did that, it got rid of the stitching on the right hand side, so I decided to cut the stitching off the top and the other side, and then I'm just going to have the stitching detail down at the bottom of our little vocal panel here. I used a piece of pink pattern paper from the Spring Fling 6x6 paper pad and cut that out with a scalloped border die from MFT. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put our focal panel onto that uh, piece of pattern paper. I'm going to use the mini picture frame dies here from Lawn Fawn to create a little picture frame. I'm just using the inside of that die cut as a guide to cut out this piece of yellow pattern paper, which is also from the same paper pad. And here's where I'm going to put our little brown kitty. So I'm going to have him as if he is in a picture. Or, yeah, he's hanging on the wall in a picture frame. I'm just going to adhere this together, and this will create one of the little elements for my scene. I think he looks really cute in that little picture frame. Once I got the card done, I felt like it could also potentially look like a window with a kitty looking in. So it can kind of be whatever you want it to be. So for our little sleeping kitty in the cat bed, I'm going ahead and I'm just going to use my craft knife here to cut a slit so I can have it look like he's actually laying in the bed. So just making sure that the slit is big enough to tuck the little kitty in. And I think this just makes it look like he's in the cat bed. So I did have to fiddle with that a little bit. I'm just going to use some purple tape to make sure that stays together firmly. And here are all the other elements for the card for today. So I'm just going to start with placement. So I knew I wanted the little picture frame in the top right hand portion of the card. I am going to add some foam tape 
to the back of that and pop that up. This just balances out the card with having the table and the fishbowl to the left hand side. Sorry, I think I was talking about the picture frame on the left, but it's the right. So I'm just going to get that little table down in place. I'm going to add some foam tape to my little kitty that is facing the fishbowl. And then I'll get that secured onto the card. The white strip I used between the floral paper and the wood grain paper is just some regular white cardstock. I wanted to make it look like baseboard. So here I'm playing around with the cat in the bed. I don't know exactly where I want this to go. So I just leave that and go ahead and add some foam tape to the fishbowl and get that in place. And then I'll glue the little fish food on top of the table as well. And then I'll go ahead and go back to the kitty in the bed. I'm going to stamp my sentiment, which reads, Let's Be Friends. I'm using my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. I'm really into stamping into or onto different areas of the card, so the sentiment almost becomes part of the scene. And you'll see another card with this stamp set coming up where I do that as well, so not creating any banner or anything for my sentiment, but actually stamping it somewhere on the card that adds to the scene. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this onto my card base. And this, of course, is an A2 size card at four and a quarter by five and a half. Just going to add a little bit of white gel pen detailing here, not too much, but just enough to make it look like that little picture frame has some glass. And then also to make it look like the fishbowl is glass as well. And there's the card for today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this card. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I will have another kitty card coming soon using the Keep On Swimming stamp set. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.